My name is Alexis Givens. I was born in Costa Rica. I'm a result of the way God uses the gospel track. One day while I was uh, traveling, uh, I needed to read something. So in my house, I just take a piece of paper was was laying right there. I start reading this piece of paper. And it start sharing what Christ have done on the cross for me. And for the first time in my life, I was exposed to the gospel. I'm from Papua New Guinea. When I was in, in, in high school, back in the uh, 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 70s, somebody gave me a gospel track. And the gospel track that I read, it strikes me. And it makes a lot of sense. Although I read the Bible and I go to church and I'm a religious person, but what I read from the gospel track makes a lot of sense. The gospel tracks explained to me that I was a sinner. I deserve to go to hell. It also teaches me the wonderful story of Jesus Christ coming to die on the cross for me to give me eternal life. God uses His Word and through the Spirit of God start giving me conviction of, of sin. I begin to realize that the condition that I was in and then I begin to see the need for my soul and that to be saved. So three weeks after I went to church with the purpose in mind to get saved. That night, January 28, 1979, God saved my soul. And when the Lord saved me, it changed my worldview completely. And what excites me is that, uh, that, uh, that salvation. And my desire was to, to see other country folks like myself that were lost in religion and my desire to see them being saved. I was called to the ministry and minister in Costa Rica, uh, Honduras, uh, El Salvador, Mexico, and part of the United States. Soon a lot of people get saved. And I was in the middle of soul winning. And it is through this soul winning schedule that I use a lot of time the gospel tracks because they become very effective too. Because God, the gospel tracks become, have become a very important medium in which we communicate the gospel to the lost well. And today, in my church, and even in, 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 in Papua New Guinea, gospel tracks have become our business card. And if you are saved, and if you are Baptist, uh, we've got a business card. And that business card is gospel track. And that's the way in which we relay the gospel to anybody and everybody that we meet. It takes people to hand out tracts in their part of the world, in their country, in their community, in their neighborhood. If people do not hand out tracts, we have no reason to print them. The Fellowship Track League was started in 1978 under Pastor Wash Pennington. He had desired to send out 100 million tracts free as the Lord provided from the Fellowship Baptist Church. Since that time, that goal has turned into over 120 million tracks a year. Since that time in 1978, we have sent out 4.8 billion tracks. Fancy Track League has been instrumental in us to reach our nation. They sent us our first shipment of about 10 million gospel tracks, and we distributed all around the nation. Our desire is to see every man, woman, boy, and girl in the world receive the gospel in their own languages. We print in over 85 languages for over 200 countries and territories around the world. One way that we're able to ship tracks around the world is by sea container. A 20-foot sea container will hold 10 and a half million tracks. This is the most efficient way to get the gospel around the world, as it will only cost less than a penny for someone to receive the gospel in their language. As we move forward, we've printed about 5 billion tracks but our goal is to reach everyone in the world. 
There's over 7 billion people in the world, and we're not reaching that goal right now, but our desire would be able to reach that goal before the Lord returns. Would you help us today with that? Would you pray for us? It takes prayer to get things done for God. It also takes finances, but we can send the track to a soul somewhere in the world for less than a penny. Would you support the Fellowship Track League today? A roll of paper costs $250 and will print 125,000 tracks. Hello, I'm William Burroughs, pastor of Fellowship Baptist Church in Lebanon, Ohio. In 1978, the church felt led of God to begin printing gospel tracks, and we are privileged to still have our part in fulfilling the Great Commission through the Fellowship Track League. We realize, however, that the ministry could have never accomplished what it has without the churches and individuals who have banded together with us. By the grace of God, we have shipped gospel tracts into almost every country and territory in the world free of charge. Would you prayerfully consider banding together with the Fellowship Track League where the Great Commission is a daily commitment? The same way God used that gospel track, He's still using it to bring salvation to many people. Knowing that you have given them the Word of God in the written literature and Sure enough, the Word of God will not come back in vain.